Hello, Cessnarf here. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, Eek. I alone fled laughing and wailing through those that black and dark gates looking. of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family. From the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Darkest Dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. Quests will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress autosaves constantly, so actions are permanent. The game expects a lot out of you. How far will you push your adventures? How much are you willing to risk in your quest to restore the Hamlet? What will you sacrifice to save the life of your favorite hero? Thankfully, there are always fresh souls arriving on the stagecoach, seeking both adventure and fame. I didn't get to read the rest of that. Erps, I guess I'm not a good enough reader. Okay, so I have never played this game. This is blind right here. Uh, nope, we're gonna make our own. Um, I don't know what the difference is in this. Alright, the Crimson Court includes the courtyard region, all that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll go to this one. Uh, do I need to unclick that? I don't know. Is that okay? I don't freaking know. What am I supposed to do here? Radiant. More forgiving than normal. Okay, you know what? Because I have never played this before. Ah! Oh, I wanted to. Ch I wanted to change the name of it. Ugh. Oh. Whatever. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. So we're going to hell. Nice. Not really. Okay. Okay. We're walking, I guess. 
Should I be reading this stuff? I mean, they cut me off the last time, so I didn't want to. But this has been up here way long enough for me to read this. Dun, 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 dun. I guess we're on the old road. Do we get to pick our characters? Somebody told me you get to pick your characters, like put their names on them and stuff. I want to do that. Is this a loading time? Come on, hurry up. Should I push enter? Oops, did it. Didn't help. <sighs> oh, I hate. Wait. Ooh, I can press space or click to continue. Okay, this is super weird. I'm currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room in the map. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Okay, so if I click here. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. While in the hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back, D forward, okay. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party. Alright, so I'm gonna move forward with D. Ooh, yeah, I'm walking. Oh, there's a bad guy. This thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Combat is turn-based. So on your hero's turn, click a skill icon, then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot, or is there are no valid targets. Okay, so I click on his skill. These are the skills that he can do. Gunshot. Let me do this. Yeah, I made him bleed. Um, melee. By the way, it's pronounced melee. For all you peeps that pronounce it a different way. <laughs> Okay. Is this dude gonna kill me? Well, we've been slicing him up, so maybe we should do it again. As the fiend falls, a faint hope oh, blossoms. Okay. So I can look at this. It says eat to restore health and starve stave off hunger. Each party member generally consumes one unit per meal. We are good to go. We do not need this at this time. I don't know what I was supposed to do with that if I did wrong or what. Is there something in here? While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Alright. W. Someone has camped here recently. Drag an item to use it. Ah. Oh. Check inside the tent. Leave nothing unchecked. So there do is I... much to be found in forgotten Ooh, places. I should have took that other thing back there. Oh well. Oh well. Hold up, it says. Halt. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Ow, dude shot me. I didn't even do anything to him. Okay, let's see. This is, uh, let's try this this time. Um, and we'll take out the dude. Oh my gosh, I barely hurt his ass. Alright. Uh, zealous Accusation 1. Let's try this. See what it does. Ow! In my face! Alright, we'll do this one. I need to get rid of this big guy. I don't know if this is what I should be doing. Like I said, I never played this game, but. Alright, so this guy. 
there's only one more use of this. I hope they refresh every now and then. I'll do this again because it seemed to help. Took a lot of damage. Cool. I took me some damage. We gotta kill this dude. He's hurting me. And prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. When most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as a temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills push-pull skills, and even corpse-clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. <clears throat> Ow! Dude shot both of us! <clears throat> He shot us again and we didn't even do anything. How is that even possible? This dude right here needs to eat this. Eat. How do I eat this? I don't know how to eat this. Ugh. How do I eat the food? I'm gonna die. Uh, two. I don't know what this means. I'm just gonna press it anyway. Uh, do I put it here, maybe? Hmm. Alright, because I don't know what the heck's going on, I have a good feeling that I'm about to die. I don't understand why I can't hit this guy. Huh. Okay. I don't know what to do at this point. So. Oh, they wanted me to clear the corpse. Like they were talking about. Now this guy gets to shoot me again. In real life, I would have left that dead body there. <clears throat> no reason to waste attacks on a dead body. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. So I click there and I go. I guess this is a tutorial or something? I can either go home or I can return to Hamlet. Continue adventuring. That's home right there. Alright, you know what? I'll go back just for right now because I don't know how to up my health and I'm about to die. And... It looks like I got a bunch of cool stuff. Okay. I can't change their name yet. Okay, I'm excited about this game. Um I think I'm going to keep playing it. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands wow. are yours now. And you are bound to them. A lot of quests. Alright, I think this is going to be it for this video. I know it's kind of a short video, but I really don't know how to up my health. I don't know a bunch of stuff. I just turned on the game and started recording. So I think I'm going to do a little tiny bit of research, and then I'll be back to play again. Until next time!